Millions of years ago, life on Earth was made up of microscopic organisms such as algae. When these organisms died, they mixed with the Earth under intense heat and pressure to become the crude oil we now use as our primary fuel for transportation. Now as problems arise from our consumption of oil, we must return to those microscopic organisms that have been around for millions of years, algae. Every year, America uses 180 billion gallons of oil for transportation systems, releasing nearly 3.7 trillion pounds of CO2 into the air. These emissions adversely affect our planet and contribute to global climate change. Oil's increasing scarcity and subsequent price increase has also strained our economy. We must reduce our consumption of oil and power our transportation with alternative forms of fuel. In recent years, scientists have developed wind, solar, and hydrogen energy. These energy forms, however, are impractical in meeting our transportation needs due to size, scale, and cost implications. The best alternative fuel is biofuel. Ethanols from corn and crop-based biodiesel have positive net energy yields and release less CO2 than oil. These sources, however, are inefficient in production. In addition, Increased demand for crops causes inflation of food prices and unrest, such as the recent riots in Bangladesh and Haiti. On top of this, crop-based biodiesel would require billions of acres of cropland. The U.S. only has 434 million acres of farmable land. Now, we must return to oil's origin, algae. We can make biodiesel from algae oil to reduce our consumption of crude oil. Algae requires fewer inputs, can be grown anywhere, and does not strain food prices, solving all the problems of traditional crop-based fuels. Certain species of algae contain as much as 50% extractable oil, which can be refined to make biodiesel. Based on conservative estimates, algae is capable of producing an astounding 33,000 gallons of oil per acre per year, while corn can produce a mere 30. With such high efficiency, only 5.4 million acres, or only 7% of the state of New Mexico, is needed to produce enough oil to fuel transportation in America. So what is the best way to produce algae? Valsant Products Incorporated has the most promising method for producing algae because of its high oil yield and lowest net carbon effect. Its patented vertigrowth system grows large amounts of algae through a vertical system of panels that increase surface area and light exposure. What we have is a closed loop photobioreactor. So our goal is to produce the greatest amount of biomass from algae that we can. And by going vertical, we believe that we can increase the yield by increasing the surface area and the volume of material that get exposed to sunlight. Vertigrow has proven to be the most efficient method of producing algae. In the near future, it will replace diesel and possibly fulfill all our fuel needs. Millions of years ago, dead algae created oil. But now, we turn to living algae to reduce our reliance on oil and become a more sustainable society in the future.